Hey, what's going on guys? So today's lesson we're going to build this robot out of my new IO blocks uh, building kit. So in our last two videos, uh, first video, we did this little fish robot, um, this little minnow um, based off of the game Sharks and Minnows that we're doing in PE. Uh, second one, we did this other, uh, I guess, species of um, uh, fish. And today we're going to go ahead and get this robot done. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to need in order to build this. So go ahead and grab these materials. First, you're going to need two of these uh, blue squares. Okay. Then you're going to need two of these black Ys. They're the ones with the curved corners. Okay. Next step, you're gonna need these U-shapes. We could turn them like this, make them turn more like U's, okay? Then we're going to use two of these yellow or gold or tan um, Ys, the same shape and size as these two black ones. They could be two more black ones and these two could also be gold or tan. Um, but I want them to all be uh, kind of different. I want these two to be different than those two as far as colors go. So the robot look a little bit different than this one. Okay. Next thing that we are going to use is a third square. Okay. And if we're looking at that, that is going to be the entire center of the body and the legs put together. Then we got to start working from the backside. So... We're gonna go ahead and grab, oh, that's the second one right there, okay? Now we gotta work on the neck and the head and the two arms. The two arms are gonna be these two red H's. And then we're going to use these two red uh, uppercase H with the curved edges. Those are gonna be the claws, okay? This black piece is going to be your neck. Oops. That black piece is going to be your neck. Red H. I don't know what to call these. I'm going to call them crosses. They kind of look like the handles to a sword. If you're holding this and you have a sword poking out here. But these two white pieces are going to be kind of like swords. And then these are kind of like... Um, crosses with curved cutouts, almost like if you were cutting out cookies from cookie dough, um, those leftover pieces. So those are all the pieces that we're going to use. We're going to start off by doing the legs. So first, we're going to go ahead and push all this to the side. We're going to grab two of these blue blocks. Then you're going to grab these two black Ys. Simple enough, stick one in this way, one in this way, and we're actually going to face them north and south like that, or vertically, okay? That's gonna be these pieces right here. The next thing that connects is going to be these two black pieces, which are actually these. They're going to connect like these with the two pieces facing the inside, okay? Next thing, if we take a look at our robot, and we turn him around, we can see that they're connected by this here, okay? And this is going to be your Y. That is gonna come out here. It's gonna connect in between these, but it's gonna have this blue uh, square, and you're gonna stick that through so you have a little gold poking out, okay? And that is gonna be where we connect our pieces, just like that. This is gonna slide in, just like that. Okay, so now we have that back side. There's one more back piece, which is gonna be this black piece, but we're gonna change that for a gold Y. And I'll show you guys what the difference is once we're done, why we're using two black and two gold instead of all four being black, you just get a different look, okay? 
Next thing we're gonna do, that's the entire body. We're gonna go ahead and get started on the arms. We're gonna flip this over to where this is the front. Think of this being, say, the belly, okay? Or the belly button, all right? So we're gonna go here, we're gonna take these two H's, the lowercase H's, and you're going to turn it where the long stick is up on this side facing this way, and this one, the long stick is facing that way, okay? You're gonna take this and right on these L shapes that are coming out, okay, the corners, you're gonna stick this red part right on, okay? It's gonna slide right into place. So now you have an arm sticking out here, okay? Do the same thing for the other side. You're gonna stick that on this corner, okay? And now you have like an arm sticking out, okay? So once you have this, then we can go ahead and take these two uppercase H's, the red ones, and we can go and stick them on here. If you wanna do this like that, that is okay. But if you want to have them kind of facing front like these, like these claws, then you're gonna take it and put it on this corner and slide it in right in the corner so it's at an angle. It doesn't fit perfectly, but since it's uh, since they're kind of wedges, they're wedged in there, so they're not gonna move. And now to start with the neck and the head, if I take my old one and I turn it around, this black Y is where this gold Y is, okay? And that black piece that's sticking up right there is going to be this black Y piece, the one with the two longer um, uh, stems up here and the shorter uh, butt end right here. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna slide it into this little slot right here of the gold to where it stands up like this. Looks like that from the side, from the front, from the top. Okay, and that's gonna be our neck. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this uppercase H, the one that actually looks like an H, or an uppercase I. We are gonna stand this guy up and we're gonna slide it in like if it's an I, or an uppercase H on its side. We're gonna slide it right into that black piece that we just put on for the neck, okay? And it's gonna be sitting right on top of this gold piece. Once we are done with that, these two openings that you see from the eye, okay, are where we're gonna put the back end of this, okay? So you're gonna have the curved end going towards the eye and the flat ends are gonna be facing us, the camera, okay? So you're gonna push that in like that, kind of do it at an angle so it looks like this, okay? Maybe put that corner hitting about the middle of this white piece. Same thing with this one. Stick that there. So now they're kind of looking in different sections. I'm gonna turn this around so you have more of a reference. Okay, let me lay that down so you see what we're working with. And then these that are sticking out, that's where you put your little um, eyeballs, okay? It's almost look like gears. Okay, so you're gonna slide that right into that white piece right there and the white ends that are flat, they're flat because they're gonna butt up right against that blue piece right there, okay? Next one, slide that right into place. If it goes, there we go. All right, now, cool thing about these eyes, they actually move. So 
you can spread them out if you want, okay? And you can put them close together if you want. Spread them out a little bit if you want, however you want it. The head also is kind of on a swivel, so you can have them looking down, you can have them looking up, straight forward. I like to just put it straight forward just so you can see it from its own view. So there's a few moving components to that. It's your claws, if you wanna move your claws to a different uh, area, your neck area, and your eyes, okay? And that is it. Now, the only difference between these two robots, I chose to use the gold instead of the black on this one. And the only reason is, so I can just have a little bit of a different look as far as the center of the belly goes, like the belly button area. And then also on the back, you can see that I used these two instead of these two. So when you're looking at it from the front, you can see a little bit of gold here and a little bit of gold here as far as that goes versus the entire thing being black. Kind of hard to see on the inside what shapes you're actually using. So if the color doesn't matter, go ahead and use all black. If the color does matter, then use two black and two gold, and it's gonna kind of give you a better angle, better uh, idea of what we're gonna be doing because you can see the shapes a little bit better. All right, well, that's it for that one. Had fun making this robot. Look forward to the next one, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.